Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today we'll continue on our October celebration and today we're going to unbox the Orc Truck. Now this is one of my favourite vehicle kits that Games Workshop have ever done. Not my favourite Orc kits as we know that's Stone Boys. This is one of my favourite vehicle kits. The only vehicle kit in fact I like better than this is actually the Orc Battle Wagon. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking well I get a sense that it's October you're going to be raving about orcs i've been raising raving about orcs since i was about 12 years old and i'll probably continue to do it until the day i die <clears throat> that being said i can spot some faults in some of their product in some of the orc line but this battle wagon i mean truck isn't one of them the battle wagon also isn't one of them so you may notice i'm in a different location that's because my son has discovered sonic the hedgehog and i have been banished so now i'm hidden away in a spare room um, trying out some new camera techniques um, in terms of I'm trying to film on a different camera so hopefully the results will be good let's bust this bad boy open though and have a look at it so as you guys know we don't in any way use anything close to a craft knife or anything like that and as you can see I have been painting orcs um, as part of October so I do apologise for it on my hands um, very, very occasionally we do get told off for that. And by way, I mean me, obviously. So, different kind of box this time. Slides open. Um, now, this truck, I think, is £22.50 if you buy direct from Games Workshop. Or you can get it from alternatives. Third pies. So, as always, you get a transfer sheet. That's pretty much standard with Games Workshop. And obviously, it covers... Oh, I say obviously too much these days. don't know why. But, yeah, it covers your main clans... See, it's got some glyphs and stuff there. Then it's got the instructions. So the instructions themselves, no true orc follows. But there they are. So you get three pages worth of instructions. And you will notice that it's not colour-coded because it's an older kit. I think this came around 2009, 2010-ish. Maybe a bit before, actually, thinking about it. It was a long time ago, anyway. <laughs> Long, long time ago. But yes, it's a gorgeous kit. It also doesn't come with a data sheet, as we have been noticing with some of the older kits. So we'll pop these to one side, and what I'm going to do is we're going to look at the sprue. So the first sprue comes with the wheels, um, and it gives you three sets of wheels, so six wheels in total, with a little, obviously, the undercarriage. Um, you've got your bits of armour across here and your engine and things like that. Um, and I mean, it's a really, really detailed kit. I mean, if we go in and we just look at some of the detail on that, and this is one of the base plates, so this is the base of the flatbed at the back. Um, just the level of detailing on it is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I do know from personal experience, you buy two of these, you can stick the two of them together, make yourself a long semi-bus kind of thing. It looks really, really cool. So there you get an orc driver. Um... And you get obviously your axles and things like that. <clears throat> so let's look at the second one. So this second one gives you a bit more of the same. You get like the side doors there, or the, they're basically used as walls. Um, you get some boarding ramps, which really good for Gorkamorka and also really good. Um, I'm hoping they're still in. 40k actually i haven't played an orc since eighth um that is going to change though let me tell you that uh, so let's have a look what else we got we got a big shooter there and we got the orc who fires said big shooter and there's his head i really like the head that comes with this orc i tend to put a just a more generic head on this and i tend to use that one for my bikers um same with this one i really well this one i don't like he's got like a pointy well, I'm not a fan of that helmet, so I tend to put my generic hel generic head on, and then I've got the helmet for other things. Um, more orc glyphs, uh, a ram at the front, you've got all these big spike plates that look like that, which look like teeth, you've got all the extra piping and stuff like that. So when you build this bad boy all together, as I said, 
it looks like that. You get a wrecking ball, you've got a big shooter, you've got the driver himself. It's very, very customizable. It integrates very well with other trucks. It integrates with a battle wagon. Um, you also have the ability to use bits of plastic card just to spruce it out in places. But it's a really, really good kit. Um, as I said, it's a bit on the expensive side now. I think the first ones I got were about £15. Then they went up to 18 and now they're like £22.50 or something insane like that. Um, I think when you can buy a battle wagon for about 35 But it's a nice, nice kit. Um, especially if you're looking to play any of the older games like Gork and Walker. It fits really, really well on there because you can fit a lot of boys in the back. I mean, you need less spanner boys. Um, and when we cover our Gork and Walker, pay, uh, Gork and Walker video this month, You'll obviously hear a little bit more about that and more of it will make sense to you. But it's just a short one today, guys, because the battle, I mean, the truck, not the battle wagon, but the truck and the battle wagon, to be honest, um, are both quite small kits. There's not a lot of parts on there to show you other than going, look, there's an axle. There's a second axle that looks similar to the first, etc. Um, as it comes to the end of the month, you will see a lot of the stuff that we've been unboxing build up. Um, and I have now decided on a clan. For this particular 40k army, and it's going to be a Blood Axes army because I've never ever had one. I've had Speed Freaks, I've had Goths, I've had Bad Moons, and I've had Death Skulls. Snake Bites don't really. Well, to be fair, I had the start of a Snake Bite army. Um, I bought loads of Squig Goths when I still worked for Games Workshop, and I was using them as trucks, and I used, I used more fantasy based orcs um, as feral kind of orcs. As my normal boys. But yeah. Blood axes it is. I've got some really good ideas. Or at least I think they're really really good. And you'll see them sort of towards the end of the month. When you see some of the painted models that I've started. Um, if you follow us on Instagram and things like that. You may have already seen a couple poking out. And popping up on there. But anyway guys. Thank you very much for watching today. Please take the time to give this video a like. Obviously it all helps the algorithm. The more likes and comments we get. The more our videos shared. Um, which helps us grow as we grow obviously it means we can bring you more content uh, you may have noticed that we're we're hitting quite a lot of content now you know every couple of days at least um and that's due to the fact that there's a lot of interest in it it's getting watched which means we're growing which gives us the motivation to make more videos we're really really loving october um if you guys are liking october as well give us some ideas for what to do for other months whether you like this idea where we spend a month concentrating on a certain game or whether you'd much prefer to see just an all-round mix like we do presently but anyway guys drop that in the comments below let us know if you've ever bashed a couple of these kits together to make your own truck um if you've got any photos certainly email them across to us at rage against the dice at gmail.com that's always in the description below um and that way we'll showcase them as I said it is october we have got some content free at the end of the month so we'd love to do a showcase of some of your custom trucks and battle wagons and things like that but anyway guys thank you very much for watching today break the dice cards and hope they smile upon you take care bye